Yo, what's going on guys? We have the other dirt bike we're going to put together now. This is the other Apollo 125. This is the X18 model. This was a different model. I forget exactly what model this was, but I can check and leave a link down in the description below. But this is my bike. And then this is my friend's Apollo 125. We're going to try to see if we can get a, a Teo Teo and we're going to compare the Teo Teo compared to the Apollo. So first steps, putting it together. Pretty simple. Get it out of the box. Pretty easy stuff. Sadly, I'm here doing this by myself again, so it's gonna be really hard to record. But you guys didn't mind it last time when I did it by myself. I guess apparently I did a good job doing it. Um well recording and doing it at the same time a lot of people were roasting me on some of the things that i was doing and what i was calling certain things people were like you can't even dirt bike you can't you shouldn't be building a dirt bike if you don't know what you're doing or you don't know what the parts are called guys i told you from the start of that video this was my first time ever doing it and i'm not the type of person to sit there and go take it to somebody like the bike runs good like i put it together perfectly fine yes i might call some things wrong like the axle wrong or something like that or the kickstarter i might, might have called like the gear switch or something like that guys it was my first time ever seeing a dirt bike and putting it together so bear with me on that this is my second time now i still don't know what a lot of things are called so i'm going to mispronounce a lot of things but if you could put the picture together while creating this video you should be good oh shoot his is white or maybe that's just the film i forgot that's the film i think his is actually white and red so his is going to look good this just reminds me of that one which was a pain in the ass to build by myself it took hours but hopefully we can actually do this one quick so let me get this out of the box and then i'll show you guys from there all right guys i started to get ahead of myself and started taking things apart so the first thing you're gonna want to do is these little brackets they were kind of held onto the handlebar part right here so you're gonna want to go ahead and unscrew those it's just these screws there's something at the bottom I believe it's a 10 millimeter so it fits in this 10 millimeter one right here at the bottom and then the screwdriver goes on top and you unscrew it and there's two of them so you got to get the one here and then the one here you can bend this fold it over so that way it's out of the way for you and then that's good to go then you want to take out this box right here that came in it the box was right here tucked in the front go ahead and take that out then I took this out. So once I took the strut out, um, I ended up, it ended up hanging right here. It's just by these little metal tie wires, whatever you want to call them. You cut them, you can untwist them. Held together here, and then the wheel as well. You just take the wheel out. Same exact thing. It's held together by these metal tie wire things. Sorry guys, I, I kind of got ahead of myself and started taking it apart before I can actually record. Next thing we're gonna do is take out the other one right here. Um, exactly the same thing, this. And this, we'll take that out. Then we're gonna go ahead and unscrew the bottom screws. There's bottom screws down there and we can lift up the whole entire metal bracket to get the bike out. And then we're gonna put the bike on this stand. But we're gonna go ahead and do that off camera just because there's no need to show you guys what that looks like. I have a video, if you wanna see exactly step by step how to do it, I did that in that video. So go check that video out. But this is basically the same thing. I don't wanna repeat things. But it's pretty simple. I'm gonna try to keep this one short so that way we can actually do it and make it actually right and not too long of a video, you know? But I'm excited to see what this one looks like all right ran into problem number one so like i said when we're taking off the brackets these screws down here at the bottom these ones right here they're supposed to be phillips screws and then you put your phillips but they stripped it out completely like there's nothing like look at this i don't know if you guys can see but there's nothing that can fit inside of that. There's no way we're gonna be able to fit it in there. So what we're gonna have to do, luckily, they welded these top parts together, and I'm hoping that the, the quality of the weld is actually bad. I already knocked off one of these, so it's this, you just get a hammer and... Okay, maybe it's gonna be a little bit harder than I thought. We're basically gonna have to freaking beat it off so that way it's i don't know man because we're not going to be able to get those screws off they stripped it completely all right you guys i finally ended up finished well at least getting this part done as you can see i just <laughs> smashed the welding that they did on the sides we got this bracket down hold it down with your foot and now i can actually pull it out get it out of the freaking crate throw the crate away but i'm sweating a lot just just by freaking doing this thing this thing was like the most annoying thing ever and now i kind of want to just go inside and just relax but once we get it out i'm gonna go ahead and put it on the little uh dirt bike stand and then i'll be back to show you guys exactly how to put it together all right guys we got it taken out put on the stands so now what we're gonna do basically is we're gonna take these handlebars we're gonna move them out of the way we're gonna get these 
on first. This is step number one. We're gonna get these on, and then basically how you do that is you just put it through these. You tighten these little screws up on the sides with the Allen key. Uh, make sure that it's lined up perfectly, and then we'll work on the handlebars and stuff like that. But you guys basically know this bike actually looks pretty good. I actually might like this better than I like my black Apollo, um, just because it looks. Also, it's a new bike, so it just looks super clean. But I don't know, man. The exhaust is kind of like hidden. I, I don't know if mine. Yeah, my exhaust is hidden too. But like, look at my exhaust, like. It's kind of like a cheap looking exhaust. This exhaust actually looks like a nice quality exhaust. But we'll see when we put it together how it sounds and compare the differences. They're exactly the same price, so we'll see. I also want to see his brake because my back brake kind of sucks. So I'm excited to see how that looks. Um, but let's start putting this thing together and then I'll show you guys when I finish. All right, guys. So now that we got these on, uh, they're pretty tight. So that's good. We can put on the, uh, the I guess, the front fender whatever you guys want to call it we could put that on now um before the tire so it makes it easier and then we're gonna just put these handlebars on so we're gonna unclip these bring the handlebars up get them set up oh wait this wire is so weird get them set up so that way they're ready to be put on we can put these handlebars on first and then we'll go ahead and put the front fender on let's cut this off I'm trying to get everything out of the way that's stuck just because it's set, set up there and then we can put this back spring on too that's going to be later uh first we're going to get everything else on that's probably one of the last things we're going to do the hardest part about putting this bike together probably is going to be the brake which i don't even see where the brake is I'm not sure where the brakes are. Oh, it's right here, the brake line. So this is where the front brake's gonna be, the pad and stuff like that. We're gonna hook that up. But first, let's get the handlebars on and then we're gonna get the front fender on with this up here. So in this box, it came with like tools and stuff. It came with this stuff for the handlebars um, and then the front plate as well. I like how it comes with like number 18 instead of 007 is pretty freaking whack if you ask me, but this 18 is gonna actually look good. I like it. And I also really like the freaking, the frame, like the, the, I don't know, something about bikes. I love that. Like I wish mine had that. It's got the red little, uh, not roll cage, but it's the frame. It just looks really clean. Like on my uh, motorcycle, it's orange, and I like that. Now on this, it's just it's just this one little small red thing, but that's nothing. Like this actually shows, which kind of looks cool. Looks like it's gonna be easier to work with. All right, guys, we got a lot of it done. I'm sweating a lot again, but as you guys can see, uh, it's pretty much almost done. We got the panels on the front plate, the front fender, whatever you want to call it. We got the handlebars on. We got the uh, Apollo, I guess the handlebar grip or whatever, the, the padding, whatever you want to call it. Um, the only thing we have to do is put on the front tire, put on the brake system onto the actual brake, I don't know, caliper, whatever. The disc, whatever, the brake disc or whatever. Uh, and then I believe we have to do the back strut. And then after that, we're pretty much done. It's not that hard doing it a second time, honestly. And guys, don't worry. I know in that video, you guys were like, you didn't grease the axle. Uh, guys, I'm going to grease it. Don't worry. I have grease somewhere around here, uh, right here. So we have grease. I'm going to grease it up. Don't worry about that. And then after that, it should be done. So once I get that tire on and the brake on, I'll show you guys the finished product. All right, guys, we finally finished the small 125 pit bike. So we have my old one right here. And then we have the new one, the RFZ Racing Apollo dirt bike now this one or pit bike what you guys want to call it so this is exactly the same size as uh my 125 this is just the rfz racing i do like the uh the stickers on it the the panels and stuff it looks a little bit better than this one this one kind of looks like like a little kid's dirt bike 007 apollo like i don't know it just doesn't look that good this one actually has like little sponsors right here looks kind of cool man i actually really do like this bike the exhaust looks a lot better on this bike than my bike as you guys can tell this exhaust actually looks like stainless steel and actually looks nice mine looks like I don't know, they just threw something on it. Let me see if I can get my flashlight. So as you guys can see, mine just looks like, I don't even know, it just looks freaking plasticky, cheap. It doesn't look that good. So this one, this bike actually so far, the look of it, I do enjoy it a lot more. I would peel off the stickers, but I'm not gonna do that yet. I'll wait for my friend, because this is my friend's bike, not my bike. I just put it together for him. Um, and then what we'll do is we will compare the two bikes. So if you guys want to see a comparison of the bike so far I do like the look of this bike better than my bike But we can do a comparison of how the bike runs and stuff like that And if it's worth it or anything like that, but it was really really simple to install put together Like I said, all you had to do was put these in tighten these down uh, the panel which was very easy the screws underneath here that you can see the tire which was easy with the axle um, And don't forget to take off this tube. They even have a sticker that says take off this tube It was connected over here somewhere. So so usually the, it's like connected right here You just pull this little clear tube out 
you don't need that and then other than that i mean you have your fuel your throttle down or not your throttle your uh your choke down here as well it's a little bit harder to get to mine was like right here so it's a little bit easier this one you really have to go like under the bike don't know how the carburetor is going to be it looks like it's a lot harder to get to just because of this cage and stuff but so far the bike looks good we're gonna go get gas in it i'm gonna ride it and then let you guys let you guys hear what the startup of the bike actually is now we're not gonna do a test ride in today's video where i actually go ride it and stuff and talk to you that'll be for another video so stay tuned this video's already been going on for a little bit longer than i expected but we will do a startup so you guys can actually hear it all right you guys here you have the rfz i know i showed you in the garage but now that it's not in the garage we aren't going to take the stickers off just yet but i believe in the next video we'll probably most likely have them all off just because it's up to my friend if he wants to have them off but we're going to have a startup of what the bike actually sounds like i do love the exhaust on this bike it looks way better than mine but let's see if we can get a startup going for this bike Yo, Whew. I keep hitting my freaking foot. Okay, so let me show you guys. Holy crap, that hurt. I keep hitting my bone on this thing because like the way that it's angled, it kind of sits out kind of far. And then the brake, look at the brake. Can't even see the brake from this angle. So if I have my foot on this thing, you can't even see the brake. The brake's supposed to be like right here, but it's like tucked inside of here. It's like tucked in, so I gotta put my foot on here. Knowing that this is gonna get hot, that's kind of, a shitty placement for it, honestly. But alright, let's keep going. I wonder if a rolling start will help. Final freaking league. All right, you guys probably can't hear me because the exhaust is extremely loud. Take it for a ride real quick. Listen to the backfire. It backfires like crazy. It pops so easy. All right, guys. Here we have it. The my Apollo. I don't know exactly what this model is called, uh, but this is the RFZ Racing Apollo, which it looks a little different. He finally peeled off the stickers, and it looks good. I don't. I like how it doesn't have a number on the side. I'm probably gonna sticker bomb these, so that way the number's just not ugly. I could probably just peel it off and make it just straight up black. I could do that, but I like the numbers. Let me get your numbers. You want the 007? <laughs> oh, nah. And then look at my exhaust. Like, is that another dirt bike? It is. <laughs> That's tough. Look at my exhaust. Like it's just so like ugly looking and then yours is like stainless steel like nice looking How much was this one? It's the same thing uh, like six, Tax and everything well, Yeah, I mean uh, yours looks like really eight. nice It ended up being like eight, eight something Maybe because it's like brand new. I don't know. Mine's just kind of dirty. I don't know. They look good. They're both same size. I don't know. I like the blacked out. The blacked out look looks like... I like yours though. Yeah, blacked out looks make it look like official. No, but know. yours has like a body of like an actual like dirt bike. Like it's Heck small no. and it's red. <laughs> it actually looks like like it's got the body and the panels of an actual dirt bike. This one just looks like... I think I got this at Toys R Us. Yours? <laughs> I feel like mine looks like that. You want to trade? I wouldn't trade. Yours is running I, weird. I literally got red just because I love red. Like yours is running weird so I don't know what the heck's going on. 
Yeah. It's just like, and another thing, like your your rear brake is horrible placement. Like, look at mine. See how my block doesn't come out as far? And this stuff gets hot too. Like, yeah. mine's right here. Look at yours. Your shit's tucked under. So like, you gotta like go underneath, and then your foot's gonna be touching the block, and your foot's gonna burn. It's just gonna get hot. Why is it like Alright guys, but that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this is the RFZ. We're going to compare the two bikes once we get his like running. We got to pump up his back tires and stuff and spend time with it before we actually judge it and stuff like that. So we'll let you guys know on that. But this is so far with my baby. This is his. And then of course we have the 250 over here in the garage. We've got the 250 over here in the garage. It's actually kind of like broken. He he destroyed it. He fucked up the rims. He fucked up the the uh, brake, the front brake, and the tire popped. It's just it's done for. But that's the Apollo 250. It's just because he kind of like beat on it rather than taking care of it. And then we have our or my 390 motorcycle, which is my baby. But guys, hope you enjoyed. If you please can give this video a thumbs up. Stay tuned. We will compare all the bikes and stuff like that. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.